Cementing zirconia can be simplified using Bruxer Dual Cure Resin Cement. It's a self-adhesive resin cement that is versatile, color stable, and efficient. It eliminates several steps in the bonding protocol, and that saves money and excessive chair time. Air abrasion is done to the inside intaglio to enhance micromechanical retention of surface area with the cement. Glidewell Laboratory always air abrades or sandblast. Glidewell Laboratories always does it, but for in-office Bruxer Aesthetic Zirconia crowns, it's done chair side. Bruxer full strength is roughened by blasting 50 microns of aluminum oxide for 15 seconds. For Bruxer Aesthetic, 30 microns of 3M Cojet at 30 PSI is done for 15 seconds. Crowns are tried in to check for the fit to the margin and adjust those contacts. Ival Clean is used to clean the inside of the restoration to decontaminate. I use a clean micro brush and scrub the intaglio for about 20 seconds and then rinse and dry. You can even use 1 to 5% sodium hypochlorite as a cleaning agent. Make sure not to use phosphoric acid, which will interfere with proper cementation. Cementing zirconia can be simplified using Bruxer Dual Cure Resin Cement. It's a self-adhesive resin cement that is versatile, color stable, and efficient. It eliminates several steps in the bonding protocol, and that saves money and excessive chair time. Tack cure for one to two seconds to initiate the gel-like state for easy, gross cement removal. As the cement continues to set on its own, fine cement is carefully removed while still providing incisal or clusal pressure. Without light curing, it sets within 90 seconds. I do recommend doing a final light cure for 20 seconds on each surface at the end.